There are three things that are promised in this life. Death, taxes, and going back to playing Call of Duty. And some of you like said that you're never gonna play Call of Duty, but you guys are back playing Call of Duty, which is perfectly fine, right? I mean, listen, life is too short. So if you're gonna go back and play, that's perfectly fine. I mean, even the homie Blame Truth, right? Yeah. He's promoting the retard helmet, even though he knows it's gonna help nobody. But he's like, I need that money, okay? I need that money, I'm gonna promote it even though it's gonna help nobody out. In fact, he's also wearing the retard helmet, fully knowing that that's not gonna help anybody. So that's basically the point right now. The homie Nick Merckx is back in the news. And he did say that he's not gonna be playing Call of Duty because Activision did him dirty, but today, well, uh, he's saying that he might be playing oh, shit. Call of Duty. Let's go for five likes on the video. Subscribe if you're brand new. What's up, my single chest? Let me give you some kishish, boo boo. Let me give you some kishish, okay? And let's uh, check out the video. Good no, morning, no, good morning, no. everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Some news out there from Nick Merck's first ever kick stream as he yeah. addressed yet again the Call of Duty <laughs> situation, which uh, a lot of people are wondering, is he going to play? The last time we talked about him around Call of Duty, he said most likely not, and that answer has not really changed. Although he did go on to say, you know, if people are really freaking with the new game, that being MW3, yeah. he might give it a try, but... Yeah! You caught him on a good day as he's just doing his opening stream on kick. He yeah. further says this was a PR BS thing that Call of Duty did I and they did him dirty and that he, you know, doesn't regret. Bro, like they, first of all, they invited him out in his, in, in their own house. I'm talking about Activision, right? They're like, come here. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. We're going to, you know, scan your entire body. Suckers even scan his Lil Johnson. Bruh. They even scan his BWC, bruh. Like, bruh, they scanned his BWC, they threw him in Call of Duty, and then they kicked him out, they told him to go pound sand, and never come back to that game, okay? They even, they removed his skin just because he said, leave the kids alone, you know what I'm saying? Like, they even scanned his BWC, bruh. Oh my God! Thing would do it all over again. Does not think he did anything in the wrong. Yeah, yeah and again, probably one of the wrong. last times he talks about this Call of Duty drama. Like yeah. I fucking hate Call of Duty. I hate the moves they made on me. I think they did me dirty. I really do, man. Like it, yeah. in, in my heart of hearts, deep down, I, I've asked myself, "Yo, did I fuck up? Did I make it?" Nah, hell nah, man. I, I think they did me dirty. I think it was a PR bullshit. Nah, I agree though. Even though that's kind of like hilarious, but that that is, I, I mean. Mm. Yeah, 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 I do agree, though. They even, like, scan your BWC, bruh. They put you in the game, bruh. Like, they know the if it's small or big, bro. Like, they know. They even scan your entire body. They put you in the game. They invited you. They put your ass in a nice hotel, and they gave you food. They always invited your ass, and now they're like, nah, bruh. No, we, we, we gonna kick you out. They remove your skin after scanning your meat, bro. Like, let's be real, bro. That is dirty, bro. You've been more than... Bruh, I, I don't even have the right word to describe how dirty you got done, bro. Move. I don't give a fuck. But, yo, listen. I'm still 12 year old me, bro. Like I, I grew up playing COD. You know, I'm not, it's hard for me to just be like, okay, hey, let's take my whole childhood and fucking throw it away because they took my skin out of the game. I mean, I don't give a fuck. So I don't know what that means. I'm gonna take it in stride. That that means you're gonna be back playing Call of Duty. And, and listen, I, I get it, right? Like we've been through multiple emo blame tr truth eras, right? Sega say that they're not gonna play, but guess what? Sega also say they're not gonna be wearing the retard helmet, and then they start wearing it. I mean, damn, life is too short. The moral of the story: life is too short. You gotta enjoy what you enjoy. Don't hurt other people. It's as simple as that. And leave the kids alone. Hundred and ten percent though. He did, he said none wrong. None wrong though. You know, get the BR comes out, chat, and if we're all fucking with it, then I might, then I might hop on and play. Oh, okay, but oh. no huh? guarantee. That, you, that, 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 hey, you that, caught me that. on a pretty good day. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first kick stream, bro. We're balling, man. It's all I, this is lit. Yeah, six are saying that he ended up getting like ten million dollars for it. Oh. Yeah, man, he definitely be swimming in that money, like. So I mean, he, they, they, yeah, we caught him on a good day, though. So the man is killing it, though. You know what I'm saying? Like they tried to cancel this man, but man ends up getting kick deal, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Activision tried to cancel this man. They shot him down, metaphorically speaking. But he winning. He winning big. He winning big. I mean, I can gotta be a congratulator, not a hater, guys. Uh, I, I definitely appreciate. I definitely love seeing homies succeed, though. So. Yeah, man, drop a like. I'm so happy to be here. I'm happy back on stream. It's a pretty good day. Catch me when that shit comes out. It might not be as good of a. It'll be a good day. Every day is a great day. But 
it might not be. Which in my mind, maybe I'm the only one thinking like this. The last two times he's talked about Call of Duty, he said like most likely not, probably not. Nice. But I, I have a weird feeling that people are going to mess with this game, especially for the first, you know, two weeks after you pay 60, 70 bucks. You almost got to like it for at least two weeks. And especially when he talked about, you know, with typical people he streams with. Yes, you have OG Fortnite returning uh, yeah. around the same yeah. time. Ow. Yes, he still loves Apex Legends. Going to be trying to requalify, I believe, for Pro League and playing late night League of Legends, but I oh, think wow. eventually, eventually there's going to be a callback, whether it's to War. Uh, bro, there's always a callback. When Sega's play Call of Duty, Sega's going to keep on playing Call of Duty. It always happens, bro. Guys, guys like, like, listen, even I'm not buying the game this year, but deep down I know that. Like, if the game if the game turns out to be good, I'll get it. But 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 listen, I'm going to give it two two months, all right? If they do do not dunk on the player base. And if they are not all about microtransactions, they do not they have the friendly UAVs online and crap like that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, with the BBC and whatnot, and, and they do not have crazy skill-based management, which they do right now, this is why I'm not getting it. But if they stop having the crazy, thick-ass skill-based management and they respect their player base, then I'm a hop on, you feel what I'm saying? Warzone or MW3. You guys can call me wrong. I think Nick Merckx will play Call of Duty again. Just no, 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 not wrong. wrong. I, I mean, I, I believe it. I believe it, bro. He's saying that he, 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 he. I'm, I, I, I'm not gonna. But you know, I might. And if you say I might, that just means yes. Let, let's be real, guys. In this day and age, it'll be eventually. Like that. And with that, does that mean Tim and Doc are also gonna touch the game? Probably. After being tied to his drama, you know, having his back during that whole situation, we will wait and see. We you know, Tim and Doc was like, okay, we're gonna have our bozo friends ass, okay? I mean, listen, man, W friends for sure. I, I love the fact that they ha had his back, but, bro, like, if the guy's like, hey, man, I'm gonna go back on Call of Duty, then Doc is gonna be on it, Tim's gonna be on it, everybody gonna be on it, but it's gonna be okay, guys. Click on this video on the screen. This literally just happened. It's an absolute banger of a story, bro. It is absolutely crazy. Phil Spencer might actually be removing skill-based matchmaking though. Oh, shit. Oh, Click on this video and I'll see you right